In this lecture, we will study about Bluetooth technology. Bluetooth technology has a standard IEEE 802.15. This is the standard for Bluetooth technology. And this Bluetooth technology lies under wireless local area network. So it lies under wireless LAN technology. And basically, it is one of the PAN technology standards. In Bluetooth, uh, what we have it mainly uses radio instead of the infrared okay so bluetooth uses radio instead of infrared as in the previous uh, lecture we have seen that in wireless pan or in pan uh, we can use infrared as well along with the radio signals but bluetooth uses only radio instead of the infrared okay so here we can only use uh, radio signals not the infrared and the data rate in bluetooth standard is 1 mb per second so data rate is 1 mb per second fine and uh, it can provide communication up to 10 meters so communication range is up to 10 meters fine and uh, further uh, bluetooth technology is independent of line of sight communication so it is independent of line of sight communication which means that it can even penetrate the walls it can go beyond the any kind of obstacles within a range of 10 meters approximately bluetooth technology provides uh, a robust connection so it has robustness it has low complexity it uses low power for transmission and also it is a low cost infrastructure fine and uh, the robustness uh, in the connection uh, is because of uh, uh, frequency hopping and the frequent acknowledgements uh, that we get in the bluetooth networks and uh, these networks they have low complexity they have low power and because of that they have low cost in order to uh, in order to maintain such kind of networks and uh, bluetooth technology basically establishes a uh, connection which is ad hoc in nature so these can provide the spontaneous small area networks so as it has ad hoc nature ad hoc nature of bluetooth technology provides spontaneous small area network okay and uh, a Bluetooth device consists of built-in short-range radio transmitter. Okay, radio transmitter uses radio signals to transmit the data. And as we uh, know that the data rate is 1 MB per second and it uses, it uses 2.4 GHz of unlicensed frequency band. So it uses 2.4 GHz of unlicensed frequency band the devices uh, which are basically the bluetooth devices they are carrying bluetooth enabled chips that can easily transfer data uh, at a rate of about 1 mb per second within a range of 10 meters okay that is approximately 33 feet so as i said that there is 1 mb per second of data rate and the range is approximately 10 meters and this 10 meters are approximately 33 feet okay and uh, interaction between two bluetooth devices occurs whenever they come into the range of one another and that too without human intervention and uh, uh, in this case there is a software technology embedded in the bluetooth transceiver chip that triggers an automatic connection to deliver and accept the data flow okay uh, since the bluetooth is a short range device with limited speed low power technology so it is less attractive to the corporate wireless local area networks that are generally powered with the 802.11 wireless LAN technologies and each bluetooth device contains 1.5 inch square transceiver so each bluetooth device contains 1.5 inch square transceiver chip 
operating in ISM band. What is this ISM band? This is industrial, scientific and medical band. Industrial, scientific and medical band. And it uses uh, a frequency band of 2.40 gigahertz or up to 2.48 gigahertz. Okay. These are the unlicensed bands and uh, these are considered as industrial, scientific and medical unlicensed band. These, uh, these three domains can use this unlicensed band for the, for the operations of Bluetooth. Okay. So, these are some features of uh, Bluetooth technology. So, we will summarize them uh, briefly. Bluetooth technology lies under the wireless band and it has a standard of IEEE 802.15. It is one of the pan technologies but in pan technologies what we have seen that we use infrared along with the radio signals but bluetooth uses only radio signals instead of the infrared and uh, the data rate is 1 mb per second the communication range is up to 10 meters only and it is independent of line of sight communication and that means uh, it can penetrate uh, uh, through the walls also and uh, it provides a robust connection it has low complexity low power and low cost and uh, all these things uh, mainly the robustness is because of the frequency hopping scheme and the fast acknowledgements that we get in the bluetooth connection or the bluetooth network okay and uh, this bluetooth technology has uh, an ad hoc nature and it provides a spontaneous small area network a Bluetooth device consists of built-in short-range transmitter, radio transmitter, which is capable of doing the communication up to a range of 10 meters. That is approximately 33 feet. Okay. And the interaction between the two Bluetooth devices occurs uh, whenever they come into the range of one another and uh, that too without the human intervention. Fine. And each Bluetooth device has uh, a, a pre-built or the inbuilt 1.5 inch square transceiver that is operating in the ism band ism band is the unlicensed band and uh, it has uh, the frequency spectrum of 2.4 gigahertz to 2.48 gigahertz okay and uh, now we will see the bluetooth architecture bluetooth defines two types of networks one is piconet and the other one is scatternet piconet is uh, called as uh, a uh, small network and it can have at the most eight stations so it is a small network and at most it can have eight stations or it can have eight devices in its network and one of the eight stations is called as master so it has one master and seven slaves so rest of the seven stations they are slaves in this network okay and all the slave stations they are synchronized with the master and uh, the piconet can have only one master station there can be only one master station and it can have seven slaves and the slaves uh, get the communication from master and the communication between master and slave will be uh, it can be either one to one communication one to one communication or one to many communication okay we have one master we have seven slaves and uh, the communication is one to one communication or one to many communication and the architecture for uh, piconet is somewhat like this suppose this is your master and uh, then you will have slaves like this so we have uh, one master here so i will write here m and uh, all others uh, are these are the slaves okay and uh, uh, what we can have this is going to be one piconet okay this is one piconet and the communication between master and slave is through radio signals okay and the communication is one to one or one to many fine and similarly in the surrounding of this piconet there can be another uh, another piconet so uh, here uh, the suppose 
there will be uh, another pico net and uh, uh, we can have the boundary of that of that pico net is like this okay and here we have uh, another system which can work as slave okay this can be slave and as we see that we can have a different number of slaves like we can have seven slaves in the pico net okay so here i am showing just four slaves and now the master of this second pico net can be this one so this can be master of this second pico net and communication from this uh, master to these slaves is through radio okay so here this is representing our pico net number two here we have pico net number one and we can see that from the slave uh, from the pico net there will be one system it is working as slave in the first pico net okay and uh, it is working as master for the second pico net it will receive packets from the master in the first pico net and then those packets will be forwarded to the slaves in the second pico net and when it forwards those packets to the slaves in the second pico net it becomes the master of the second pico net okay and such type of this combination of two pico nets it is called as scatter net okay this kind of network is your scatter net now we will see uh, the protocol architecture of bluetooth first i will draw the protocol architecture of uh, bluetooth and then i will explain its fields this uh, diagram represents uh, the protocol architecture of uh, bluetooth and uh, here you can see there are different layers and uh, now i will explain uh, uh, each of uh, them one by one uh, first uh, we will start from the bottom and uh, we have a radio layer a radio layer uh, is basically the lowest defined layer in the bluetooth uh, protocol stack or bluetooth specification and it defines the requirements of bluetooth transceiver device operating in the 2.4 gigahertz of the frequency band so it defines the requirements of radio transceiver uh, which is operating in the frequency spectrum of 2.4 gigahertz and uh, after that uh, we have uh, uh, a uh, baseband layer that is on the top of this uh, radio layer so at number 2 we have baseband layer this baseband layer manages the physical channels so it manages the physical channels and in addition to that uh, it provides the services of error correction data widening security etc okay and uh, further it inquires about the bluetooth devices in the surrounding it also inquires about bluetooth devices in the surrounding okay and uh, after that we have l2 cap layer so at number three we have l2 cap layer l2 cap stands for logical link control and adaptation protocol and it resides in data link layer and provides connection less and connection oriented services okay and uh, in addition to that it is responsible for protocol multiplexing so protocol multiplexing is also done by in this layer that is l2 cap and uh, uh, further it does the segmentation and reassembly of the packets segmentation and reassembly of packets is also done fine and uh, after that we have uh, next field that is uh, data field so i will write it here as data field and this data field can accommodate a packet length of 0 to 2740 bits long okay it can support a packet length of 2740 long which occupies five time slots of the tdma technology so there are 2740 bits okay and uh, at the top of this data field there are there is a profile field which contains uh, the 
uh, which manages the profiles uh, uh, of the users who are going to communicate in the field then you have application layer at the top and uh, on the left and right uh, you can see that the audio and video fields which represent that there are control signals that are transmitted to establish the connection and also you can transmit audio video files by using the bluetooth protocol stack or the bluetooth uh, networks fine so this is uh, your uh, protocol stack or the protocol architecture of the bluetooth and before that we have seen that uh, the network architecture where you have two kind of networks one is piconet and, and another one is scatternet in the piconet you have one master and seven slaves and uh, uh, the scatternet is a combination of the two uh, or more piconets where uh, the slave of one piconet can work as the master to the another piconet okay so this is all about uh, bluetooth technology and uh, its architecture thank you for watching